the madness my illusion until I see nothing. Darkness. I was five in bed. I could feel the icy chills of cool winds between my fingers and toes as I crept downstairs. Shaden, my oldest brother, was making breakfast which smelled of bacon. Carson, the second oldest, was calling mom from work and the clock ticked as I sat down. The sizzling of the greasy pan, Carson's phone ringing, and the ticking of the clock buzzed in my ears, swirling and swirling in my head. Sweat broke off my skin. That sound, my head. Stop, stop it now, I shouted, clawing the wooden table. Shaden looked at me. His bright, luminous green eyes looked worried at me. Carson's fern silk green eyes looked annoyed and shocked, scrolling over to me. Silence filled the room. The clock still ticked. Us three stared our big green eyes at each other like some color blend. I looked angry as ever as my brothers halt and look at the kitchen opening that led to the living room. Our father lumbered in the room. I froze. Father wasn't bright at all. He worked late shifts and, worst of all, had drinking problems. Vomit hung from his lower lip as his black hair and eyes dimmed in the dawn light. Whoever said that, speak up and stand where I can see your hideous face. We all realized he was drunk as Comic, our third oldest brother, was halfway down the stairs with Tulip, the second to youngest in our family. Tulip looked frightened, her blue eyes wide as I hobble over a little so he could see me. There he saw a small, terrified, shaking little boy. That right there was me, Jason Alice Maroon, the youngest in the family. Dad stepped toward me as I closed my eyes prepared for the belt, but he only walked around me, which brought half of my relief back. His lips got close to my ear so I could feel his heavy, thick, hot breath and the smell of his sickly, sticky breath of alcohol. I recognized it was red wine because it tasted and smelled dry. I held in my breath, feeling his green, devilish eyes pierce my skin. Listen, he began. No one will ever stop what they're doing. You know why? Because they think you're worthless. Nothing. Just air. Got that? You need to live through the pain. You can't have people help you because that's not why we are born. We were born here to survive because hell is not down there. It's here. Welcome to hell. His breath hit me badly, seeping in my throat, watering my eyes. As he walked out of the room, Tulip and Comic ran upstairs. My eyes opened. I felt all the energy surge through my bones. I felt alive. Dad's voice echoed through me. I knew I could make him prouder than his own self. My time was now. I can do this. I am Jason Alice Burton.